my guy uh, Kareem Jackson, our guy mm-hmm. Kareem Jackson, been out there laying wood. <laughs> <laughs> Jack gonna do what Jack do, man. Yeah, yeah Jack gonna do. Jack boy <laughs> has has been digging in his bag, and he's been fine a good amount. But it's funny though; it's like, and I think you know, I love the way that Kareem Jackson plays, and I think that you make a great point of like how you how are we supposed to turn it off you know and we're talking about like split second decisions mm-hmm. the hit that he had uh this past game you know it was like if it was a split second earlier it would have been okay you know or if it was like an inch maybe lower and more in his chest but i don't know man it's uh when you see when you have emotions and guys who just play the game physically like you can go you know a list of you know, probably findable Kareem Jackson hits, but that's just the way he right. plays, and that's why he's, you know, year thirteen or something. Man, that, a good friend of mine, my guy, man. I hate to see money going out of my boy's pockets. You're throwing a ball up there, and you know you don't obviously don't want to launch the slow. I was like six seven. Jack's like five ten. Like the, the striking distance are already different, and then and then Logan Thomas is jumping in the air for a ball. How else is Jack supposed to dislodge this ball out of Logan Thomas's hand? Mm-hmm. Besides launch it up there, and I know he's not trying to hit him in the head or neck, but he's shooting his best shot. He has no idea where Logan Thomas is going to land. He's six, seven yards, jumped above him. Like, what do you want him to do? And obviously, I get it. You want player safety and things like that. But I feel like we're getting a, we're getting a lot of disservice to us as defenders on what we can do, and you know. Unfortunately, it, it starts putting you in a situation where you're striking in a low zone, and nobody wants to take. You know, I don't know if you watch Monday Night Football, and I'll be praying yeah. for my Nick Chubb, man. Then you get hits like that. You got guys yeah. going there who are just gonna. They have no choice. That is the. That is where you put them. A guy's gonna come in, fly at your, at your knee, and that. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah. And which one's better for player safety? Do you think that? me letting you catch the ball and then taking your leg out is better or me catching you in midair the way we're supposed to collide, the way we've been playing football our entire lives yeah. up until this point is right. a better way to adjust. So I don't right. know. I don't I don't know. I don't know that I have the answer, but I do know that defenders are going to adjust and I don't know that everybody's going to like the result of defenders adjusting to that either. Yeah. Yeah. Because the last thing you want to see is injuries like the one that uh, Nick Chubb sustained um yeah prayers up to to him and um you know also to logan thomas i think he uh he had a he was concussed concussed? yeah man i think so okay jack you know it's yeah it's and like that's the thing what if he go what if jack goes in low right there and he flips logan thomas and he falls and like that's the thing you're in you're almost damned if you do damned if you don't yeah pick your poison it's and just a, you know, it's a it's a violent game, and it's you know, it is it is what it is, and you just hope and uh, hope that guys come out healthy. Nobody is out there with with ill intentions, but um, I do think like the hits sometimes the hits that look uh, the worst are actually you know they're they're not. They could definitely mm-hmm. be worse if those hits were you know happening below. The waist, you know, one hundred percent. If those were, if those hits are below the waist hits, yeah. a lot of those hits turn way bad. Right. With that right. same amount of force and effort, like that's the thing. That's where you, it's. Yeah, 